Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Kirby3065939 with another video. Now, you may notice that I am no longer using my good old Windows XP desktop. I have switched to a new Windows 7 Ultimate laptop, and I decided to use this laptop to test out the new screen recorder and microphone I got for showing you the new arrow functions of Windows 7. Now, I'm not going to waste any time, I'm just going to go straight into the video. I will provide a link in the description for you to download these products if you choose for Windows Vista and Windows XP. Could possibly be on crystalxp.net, I'm not sure, I'll just look them up, but I will provide them. Anyway, the three programs I'd like to talk about are Aero Snap, Aero Peak, and Aero Shake. And here we go. So, Aero Snap is a program that comes with Windows 7 that allows you to use a window, allow it to snap it right back in place, whether you want to maximize it, take up half the screen for easy file transfer, or quickly pull it back into just a miniature box, whatever the default size was. Now let me show you how this works. I'm just going to click a couple things down here. Now you can see I have my libraries and control panel up. Now if I'd like, let's just say I don't want to waste my time just going all the way over here and clicking one of these little squares. I just want to quickly maximize it without having to click here. All you have to do is just grab any part of the top of the window and pull it up to the top of the screen. Let go when you see a little glowing square that resizes to fill up the screen. When you see that glowing transparent square, let go and that means it should maximize. And that's maximized. Okay? If you want it to snap right back in place to the default size it was, just click the top anywhere, pull down, and there you go. It snaps right back to the default setting you originally had it. And that works for all or most windows it should so now let's say you want it to take up half the screen for easy file transfer so let me just go libraries all right now I have two libraries up now let's say I just want to transfer a music file from uh, quickly just for the heck of it a default music file. Let's just say I want to transfer a sample music file straight to my default music list. And, and I don't want to just click and drag anywhere or have to waste my time going from window to window. All you have to do is... Alright, you see ha I have three sample music files that I'm not... I haven't listened to them. I'm not sure what they are, but... Anyway, uh, let's just say I just want to quickly c click and drag. To, and to do this, re quick file transfer, just to fill up half the screen, just grab any part of this and pull it over to the side and let go when you see a little transparent glowing square resize to this dimension. That means when you let go, it should fit to be this size. And do the same thing with this size. I recommend grabbing each side or farther to the closest side depending on what side you want to do it to and see it's glowing on this half of the screen when you let go it resizes to this half of the screen now I have sample music up and my default music file so let's just say I want to transfer this sleep away just click and drag over to here let go just give it some time and there it sleep away is right here with my default music list. And let me just undo that. And now it's back. And when you want it to just be regular size again, just pull it down and it snaps back in place. Close it, do whatever you want with it. Like this. Alright, that was Aero Snap. Alright, and now I'd like to go into another program that comes from Windows 7 called Arrow Peak. Arrow Peak allows you to peek to the desktop or other window, depending on what you want. 
just by hovering over an item. Pretty simple, so let me show you. So, a new feature that comes with it is called the Show Desktop Button. It should be in this corner, down here with the time and everything in the system tray. So, you hover over it when there's a window up. Okay. And let's just say I just want to see what's behind here and I don't want to go over here and click minimize or click this and just move it around. I just want to hover over this show desktop button and you see through the desktop you can see a little glowing transparent square where the window is and when you move away from it it comes back you hover over again click it it minimizes and let's just say you, know, you just want to do something real fast get it over with and you want it back but you don't want to come down here and click it you just want to click the show desktop button again and it pops back up so the next thing is called the thumbnail view uh, the thumbnail view is something that comes with Windows 7. It is a miniature window that comes with each window that you get. And you just hover over a button down here, and you see a little window. Hover over that, you can see through to it. And the window in front of it, or behind it, or whatever, disappears so you can see it. And you click it, and it comes up. And say you want this back, hover over it, click it, it comes back. And let's just say you want to quickly close libraries. And you don't want to go over here and like, you don't want to have to click it and come over here and press the close button. You just hover over it and there's a little close button that comes in the thumbnail. Just click it and it closes for you. And do the same thing with this. There we go. Next is what comes with Internet Explorer. So let me show you. Okay, now, something that comes with Internet Explorer, you can just make a new tab. I apologize if you hear any barking in the background, the dogs are acting crazy. I don't know why. Alright, and here's a new tab. Now, if you hover over Internet Explorer down here, you see that it that actually gives you the two tabs. Whenever you pop up a new tab, it shows up and you can close the tab quickly by just clicking the close button, whatever. And it closes for you. Pretty nice, but it only works, I believe it only works with Internet Explorer because that is Microsoft's default internet browser. So, another thing is that something that comes with Windows Media Player. Okay, Windows Media Player is up, so let me just minimize it, just give you an example. Okay, now with Windows XP and Windows Vista, there, you got a little toolbar that came with M Windows Media Player. And that toolbar was kind of annoying and it also took up a lot of space on the taskbar, which I did not like it very much. Which is why I like the new Windows 7 way of messing with media. It actually, the thumbnail actually gives you a play button, or uh, play pause button, and you can skip to the previous or next video. And you can quickly pause, play, whatever you want to do. And you can see it's playing. But it, but I really like that new function for Windows Media Player. And you may like it, you may not. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. I don't know. So that was Arrow Keys. The last function I will show you for this video is called Arrow Shake. Arrow Shake allows you to quickly minimize any window up by shaking another video. And if you want them back without having to click them down here, just shake it again and they should pop back up. You 
harder than it looks, though. Both windows are up. Now let me show you. So let's just say I just want to minimize the control panel and I want to keep libraries up, but I don't want to go down here and just go over here and just minimize or whatever. Just give the screen, I just give this window a shake and it should minimize. There we go. And it minimizes. Now it is pretty difficult to get used to. I don't recommend using it very often, but it still it still works. Still good. Anyway, that was Arrow Shake. I will provide a link in the description for all three programs. And be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.